Praise the Lord. Your friend Paul Adelaide. Welcome to the month of September, the ninth month of the year. The Lord will remember you when it's ninth month in the pregnancy, the woman is expected to deliver. All your miracles will be delivered to you. All your testimonies will be delivered to you. Your breakthroughs, everything you have been praying for will be delivered to you this month in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We have been speaking about connections. So today, in the month of September, our first day, Thursday, we want to continue with connections. We want to speak about spiritual and sexual connections, spiritual and sexual connections, taken from 1 Corinthians 6, 16 to 17. 1 Corinthians 6, 16 to 17. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a hallowed is one body with her? For the two, it says, shall become one flesh. But he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. First Corinthians 6, 16 to 17. There are people or things we connect to that can destroy us. You and I will not be destroyed in Jesus' name. Connecting to a harlot and becoming one body with a harlot means opening the door to a kind of connection that will destroy someone's destiny. These kind of connections include sexual connections that are outside of biblical marriage that's the first thing number two anyone involved in sexual connections outside of biblical marriage no matter what your status is in society or what you think or feel the bible says that fellow is an enemy of god who have willingly given access to the devil to destroy his or her soul or internal life uh, internal destiny internal destiny romans 6 8 to Romans 8, 6 to 10, Romans 8, 6 to 10, Romans 6, 23, Romans 6, 23. Number three, when we are truly connected to the Lord Jesus, we are one spirit with him. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, there is freedom. 2 Corinthians 3, 17, 2 Corinthians 3, 17. There is also peace, Romans 8, 6, Romans 8, 6. You can be truly connected to Jesus and be oppressed continually seeking deliverance. If you are oppressed and you are truly connected to Jesus, then you lack knowledge. But you can't truly be connected to Jesus and be oppressed continually. Because where the spirit of Jesus is, there is freedom. Number four, in the spiritual realm, which controls our physical life, we become whoever or whatever we are connected to. What do I mean? You are either connected to God and become a child of God, or you are connected to the devil and becomes a child of the devil. John 8, 44. John 8, 44. Romans 6, 16. Romans 6, 16. Proverbs 22, 44 to, uh, 24 to 25. Proverbs 22, 24 to 25. Now listen to what this says. I'm just summarizing what Proverbs 22, 24 to 25 says. It says, you should not befriend an angry man. Otherwise, you will learn his ways and be ensnared. In other words, I can be connected to someone that can lead to bondage and oppression in my life. I say it again. You can be connected to someone that can lead to you being oppressed, having the spirit of failure and some other sexual and um, spiritual challenges in your life. In the world, where people judge success by material accusation and fame. You and I may be tempted to think spirituality is all about material accusation and fame and popularity. No, we can acquire all the wealth and all the popularity and be disconnected from the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why the Bible says, why does it profit a man if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? Now, we ask ourselves, are we truly connected to Jesus? Remember, the Bible says, the Lord knows who I is. If you are connected to Jesus, he knows. A connection with Jesus saves us from eternal destructions and from all the spiritual and sexual bonds that we create um, as a result of immorality and, and chasing men or women when we are not married to them. Let's pray. Father, please sanctify me, body, soul, and spirit. Let me be totally connected to your son, Jesus, so that I don't miss heaven in Jesus' name. Get connected to Jesus and be saved from eternal destruction. Jesus Christ is the only mediator between God who created you and I and men. God bless you.